Constantino. Ole. Pound for pound. Middle Giant Frank, first and foremost, what you make of that? Obviously, he did a press conference with Tank Davis. What'd you take away from that? It was live, you know. People keep saying it was animated or it wasn't real, man. That shit was real. It was real. It was, yeah, it was, was good. It? You feel the energy? The energy, yeah, the energy was there. Uh, man, it gave me more excitement. It gave me more motivation for the fight. So, right. you know, it just, it just gave me, it, it, it hyped me up, you know. You made went me to more a train, ready. right? Right yeah. after something. I did, actually. Talk about that video. What was that video about? Something about sparring, right? Yeah, some sparring. Some nothing. He was showing nothing. Tried to make it seem like he was showing something. But it was nothing at all. What did you make when you faced off with him? What was the energy? What, what did you see in his eyes? What did you think when you faced off with him? Uh, he coming to fight. You know what I mean? Just like I'm coming to fight. You know, I know he felt the same energy. You know, both of us coming to fight. You know, like two dominant. It was like two dominant energies. As far as... You fighting him? Do you think has he, he's ever fought someone like you? No, he never fought nobody like me. Never. His whole career, he's never fought nobody like me. How do you think the styles will match up when you guys? You know, it's gonna be explosive. You know, it's gonna be. You know, I got speed, power, elusiveness, unpredictable. Um, you know, we pretty much know with Tank. You know, he's sneaky. He, he could box. You know, if he got a box, he can box. For the most part, we know we coming with. You know, we know he coming with power shots uh, that. Looking for that one big shot, so you know, we're gonna be ready for everything. What's gonna surprise Tank Davis when he steps in the ring with you? Um, shit, just the game plan that we got. You know, we got a great game plan. There's different things. Uh, it wouldn't be. I don't think it's gonna be just one thing that's gonna surprise him. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be multiple. What does Derek James tell you? Obviously, I'm not talking about the game plan, but I was, I was listening. He was telling you, "Hey, man, stay focused." But what yeah, was he telling you? Just stay focused. Keep my head in the game. Don't let. None of the, you know, the, the forensics, all that shit, like, distracting me or get me out of my out of my zone, my character, you know, so it's basically staying calm, staying cool. Do you see some holes in Tank Davis? Uh, yeah, it's holes in everybody. Right. You know, it's holes in everybody, but yeah, absolutely, I see holes in you, you know. Yeah, what do you tell the people that are going to be here watching your fight here at the MGM Grand? Obviously, how does it feel you're going to be fighting here in the near future? Man, it feel good, you know what I mean? Like, it's a blessing, like. Knowing that I'm gonna be on the, you know what I mean, like on the ring, the billboards, right there. everything, you know. So it's a blessing, man. It feel good. I tell the fans, y'all come out, make sure y'all come out. Uh, it's gonna be an explosive fight. It's gonna be an entertaining fight. It's gonna be the upset of, it's gonna be the upset of, of boxing. All right, last thing, Jaime Munguia, Canelo, what you think? Man, that fight was lit. That fight was good. Munguia is a tough, tough tough game fighter um canelo was a stronger man the, the, the more like uh polished fighter as well but uh it was a great fight All right. anything you want to tell the fans about your fight anything you want to get off your chest nope just tune in june 15th y'all tune in and, and expect the you know a upset june 15th All right. thank you frank